when Seconds Count, Wayne General Hospital's Emergency Medical Services Department is ready to respond to those in need. Our staff of highly trained responders and state-of-the-art response vehicles are available around the clock to deal with most any medical emergency. Wayne General Hospital is committed to the care and well-being of our community's residents, and our EMS department provides an unparalleled quality of immediate care. In an emergency, call 911 for assistance. Wayne County High School overcame a sluggish first half to pull away from the Mustangs of West Jones and take a 28-7 victory Friday night in Soso. The win improves the War Eagles to 5-2 on the year and a perfect 3-0 in district play heading into next week's homecoming game against Natchez. West Jones almost scored in the first quarter, but Benito Jones blocked a 37-yard field goal attempt. Then in the second quarter, with 6.45 left, Reggie Stewart scored on a two-yard run. The Brett Reynolds PAT made it 7-0. Then Stewart scored on a 13-yard run with 6.07 left. Reynolds' kick made it 14-0. Both teams were scoreless in the third quarter before West Jones scored with 10.22 left in the fourth on a three-yard run to cut the margin down to 14-7. Wayne County answered, when, when DeAndre Gandy returned an interception 66 yards for a touchdown, the real Reynolds extra point made it 21-7. to Then Stewart scored on a 36-yard run with 325 left in the game to ice things for the Boar Eagles. Wayne County, 169 yards rushing, 81 passing, the defense held the Mustangs to 69 yards on the ground, 51 through the airways, as the Mustangs remained winless in district play. Freddie Jordan Jr., 67 yards rushing, Chris Cooley, 66, Reggie Stewart with 28, Stewart 5 of 10 passing for 81 yards, Will Mangum caught a pass for 36 yards, Rameek Wallace caught a pass for 25, defensively Denzel Bonner with 10 tackles, DeAndre Gandy with nine, Tyree Evans with seven, Quindarius Bivens and Benito Jones and Tyler Hopkins all with seven each. Quarterback pressures, Benito Jones with three, Quindarius Bivens with two, Deion Smith with another interception, and Gandy got one as well. Wayne General Hospital is proud to welcome Dr. W.A. Hendricks to its outstanding staff of medical professionals. Dr. Hendricks, who is highly skilled in the most modern techniques, performs a full scope of general surgery options at Wayne General. He also offers minimally invasive surgical procedures. To schedule an appointment or referral, call 601-735-7285. Dr. Hendricks is located in the Wayne General Hospital Medical Arts Building, Suite 5. All right, Coach, uh, tell us your thoughts on tonight's game, a 28-7 victory over West Jones. Hey, win is a win. We're still undefeated in reach and play, and uh, that's what we came over here to do. Uh, you know, we, we had, had some hiccups along the way, but, uh, you know, found, we, we made a way to win. We didn't find a way to win. We made a way to win. Coach, both teams had a rough go in the first half trying to find a rhythm, but it seems like Wayne County found the rhythm first. We did. We did. We was able to stick the ball in the end zone, get two scores in the first half, two scores in the second half, and then we played lights out on defense. Talk about that defense. They played a tremendous game tonight. It all starts up front. Starts up front with those guys, and, and uh, you know, we was able to get interceptions there. And, you know, anytime you get takeaways, it's a good thing. And I just thought we played lights out tonight. How big was DeAndre's takeaway? Oh, it, it, I mean, that, that sealed the deal. That sealed the deal, you know. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's a guy that's worked hard and uh, so deserving. Uh, and, and just proud forward. Coach, you got another big home game next week, another district contest. How do you get ready? Hey, it's the next one. It's the next game. It'll be the biggest game we'll play in this year because it is the next one. 
Wayne General Hospital is all about babies. As one of the few rural hospitals still delivering babies, Wayne General has a proud tradition in obstetrics and newborn care. Doctors throughout the years have delivered thousands upon thousands of babies at Wayne General, and Dr. Kelvin Sherman and Dr. Katherine Brett proudly carry on that tradition. Stop by for a visit today. Wayne Academy's varsity football team traveled to Decatur, Mississippi Friday night and lost a heartbreaking 36-28 decision to Newton County Academy Friday night. The loss drops the Jags to 3-5 on the year, 1-2 in district play, while the Generals improved to 2-0 in league action and even their record at 4-4. Four the Generals scored on a 55-yard pass with 11.01 left in the first quarter to make it 7-0, but then Braden Doss caught a 30-yard pass from Zach Hutchinson with 9.02 left to knock things up at 7-7. With 2.02 remaining in the quarter, Doss hauled in a 38-yard pass from Livingston on Grayson Livingston on a fake punt. The Livingston kick made it 14-7. In the second quarter, Matt Landrum scored on a 13-yard run with 10.41 left in the half. The Livingston kick opened up a 21-7 margin. Then with 7.46 left in the half, Zach Hutchinson scored on a 10-yard run to make it 28-7. The Generals were then able to score 14 points in the second quarter and 15 in the fourth for the win.